uh, shift focus now to the commodity space. Manisha Gupta is joining in. Manisha, what's the one commodity you're tracking today? Well, Sonia, I'm looking at the rubber prices, which actually have been doing quite well in the recent few months there. If you look at the Indian markets, we're looking at 200 rupees per kg of rubber prices there. Well, and this is the highest that you've seen in last 12 years. In last decade, we've seen rubber prices trade anywhere between 130 to 160 on the higher side. But the last six to eight months have actually been quite positive, bullish as well. And we have seen rubber prices not just in the Indian markets, but international markets trade on an year-on-year -year higher basis there as well. So lower production due to heat waves and, of course, a lower production activity and yields is what really has supported the prices there. The markets also are looking at higher demand for natural rubber prices from the AV industry, tire industry, and that has been supportive. When you look at the Indian uh, natural rubber stock, if you look at it on a March-on-March -March basis, we have seen a decline on this. So if last year was 442,000 tons, it's at 372,000 tons on 1st of March 2024, and that is what has been bothering the markets there. Also, when you look at the Indian rubber production and consumption numbers, the last couple of years have seen an increase in production as you can see but the consumption numbers have increased many fold and that tells you that the import dependence that India has in sense of rubber and natural rubber will perhaps just about continue. I also talk, want to talk about the global markets there and this is a data from rubber study group which says that the global production in 2024 is expected to increase by 1.1 percent but the consumption is expected to increase by 3.1 percent. So in the global markets as well we are looking at a deficit kind of a situation there and that will be supportive for the rubber prices. The demand growth as I said, is continuing to come in from China. That is, of course, leading. But the Indian demand growth is gaining up by 3% for this current year as well. When you look at the international markets, well, we have seen a stronger demand there as the numbers show. But here as well, there are concerns on production coming in from Thailand, a major producer of rubber, by the way. And then the China factory activity in the previous uh, month also has surged quite strongly. Uh, a latest report shows that there has been three China you know, EV makers who have done record sales of automobiles in the month of June. So that tells you that the demand has been on the stronger side and the rubber prices could be supported going forward. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Well, uh, that is in the commodity space.